while most Olympians owe their medal success to training, Tom Dumoulin's was as much due to his decision to stop training and step away from racing as it was his fitness and ability as a time trialist. Big Tom is back big time. Dumoulin cited overtraining as his reason for what has turned out to be a temporary retirement. And whilst many of the reasons were undoubtedly physical, the mental impact of elite level sport was also a huge factor. Burnout syndrome is one of the most uh, dangerous risk uh, that an athlete can, can have. An easy definition of burnout is like uh, a mental, emotional and physical exhaustion. The most common causes are, for example, the difficulty to cope contingencies and changes or internal and external pressure. I look a lot about these elements, these features in our athletes. Also with the performance team, we try to track every rider almost live, let's say, in order to prevent from this kind of issues and to help them to find a balance. We have many team building meetings with different groups. I work with the DS to have an effective communication. We use video call, call or WhatsApp. And every two weeks with the performance team, we have a meeting in which we track every rider from medical, from training, from mental and nutritional point of view. So I think we, we have a good overview. For sure, there, there has been a, a big change in cycling, let's say in sport, and let's say in nowadays society in general. Uh, if I look, let's say five, ten years ago, there was the big prejudice that psychologists were only for mad people or crazy people, and nowadays it's almost trendy. I can tell you that maybe the performance in the past was seen mainly about physical and physiological aspects. Let's say uh, all the concentration was about training methods and recovery methods. But nowadays I think that rider's life is a little bit more complex. It's not only um, about performance, it's also about media aspects, social aspects. And it's not enough winning now. You have to be like, let's say, a character, a big top character. And then the evolution of the sports brings many different and many more variable to deal with that finally the risk is, let's say, to feel a little bit disoriented. An overwhelming feeling that led one of the greatest sprinters of his era, 14-time Tour de France stage winner Marcel Kittel to retire from cycling at the very height of his career. Many big riders, many big champions spoke loud about mental health issues. There is for sure a, a strict relation between uh, mental health issues and, let's say, cycling world from performance side. So, for example, lack, lack of results uh, or pressure or poor performances. But there is also another part that is really important too, that is the, the private life of our athletes, because sportsmen and sportswomen are obviously normal and ordinary people and they can have family affections and friends and sometimes it's not that easy to separate these two words we are thoughts we are emotions and we are behaviors that means that for sure uh, an happy rider could be a faster rider but let me tell you that also say an angry rider could be a faster rider if he has an extra grit or extra determination. We have to deal with the different emotions and we have to understand which is uh, the, the right amount, the right level of emotion is the, the best level for a rider. Both mental health and physical health are essentials, but not enough. They are the basis on which built up, let's say, mental and physical fitness, that is something more. For me, success is, uh, let's say, rich performance goal we have set early in the season and being able to be our best expression in the right timing. For sure, everyone would like to win, but finally only one wins. And if you have given your 100%, you can't complain about anything.